Steve. I do appreciate it. All right, well, next on the list is Ken, and Ken normally is, or lives in Texas, but I think, Ken, you said you might be in Louisiana, so uh, go right ahead. You're up. Roger, Roger. I'm actually portable in Axis, Alabama, Alpha X-ray, India Sierra, Alabama, about 20 miles north of Mobile. We've got some serious weather moving in out of the northwest. Uh, looks like we're in but some serious winds and thunderstorms, so... It's been threatening all day, uh, about 60 degrees, very humid, uh, nothing really too much to report, Roger. All right, well, whatever you're using for a portable setup, Ken, it's working very nice. You're probably the strongest station for me. So Ken there is uh, portable in Alabama. Uh, as I said, normally he's out of Sour Lake, Texas. Uh, they're in a severe weather. very careful of those. All right, well, Ken, thank you very much. I appreciate you taking the time to be here. All right, well, that takes us through the list of check-ins, but we need to go back and pick up uh, Brother Bob. Hey. So as you can hear, the uh, the radio is on the air. Then, fortunately, the uh, the band's picked up a bit. It's uh, towards the evening here in Dallas, and uh, there's a net going on in 7.264, and uh, you heard a gentleman calling CQ down at 7.214. Uh, so it's pretty strong. They, they, they actually are both strong signals. Uh, I was actually comparing it to my uh, to my other radio. Um, so, uh, but it was coming through uh, quite well. One of the things that you can notice on this radio is because I don't have any uh, audio filtering, um, you get very a lot of very high pitched tones, particularly as you as you uh, uh, change frequency up from a um, uh, from another station. Um, so the uh, the sideband suppression is is working well. Um, I lucked out and got the got the right sideband. With uh, <laughs> I didn't really plan uh, getting lower sideband, uh, which is what uh, 40 meters is uh, working. So uh, I mean that's the uh, radio pretty much uh, done from a receive perspective. Obviously, there's a pile of things to improve. Uh, you heard how noisy it was. Um, and, you know, some some of the noise is related to you know all these sort of uh, flying wires I've got here. I mean, these boards aren't in any way protected from, uh, from RF, uh, that it, there's no good ground plane on the board. So lots of areas to improve, but uh, you know, it's, uh, it's good to you know, get the radio on the air and it sort of proves that uh, all the components have, uh, have come together. So anyway, uh, I'll keep uh, tinkering with this radio. As I said in the, uh, the last uh, video, um, Definitely going to do that um, signal strength meter. Uh, do that. I think I'll, I think I'll do a lower sideband, upper sideband switch. Um, I might even do a. Uh, I've done this before, but you uh, uh, um, obviously this. Uh, let me just pan up a little bit. This bandpass filter is only for 40 meters, so uh, I can't really listen in on 20 meters. So, but what I could do is basically. Uh, build a board that has a number of uh, uh, different bandpass filters for the different uh, uh, for the different bands, and then uh, use the tiny pico to switch between them. So this has been a lot of fun. Um, I'll de like I said, I'll definitely keep going, uh, but I'll leave you with some uh, uh, some some of that net. Control over.
Hi, Roger. Okay, wait, are you Portable, Virginia, or Marble? All right, let me make sure I got the call sign correct. I have Kilo India 5, Foxtrot Juliet Lima, is that correct? Yes, 